In 1986, Calvin Gilmore brought a new sound to the beach, the Carolina Opry. It started in a modest 1,000-seat theater in Surfside Beach. That sound grew and grew until shows were sold out night after night. So he started a second show in North Myrtle Beach, the Dixie Jubilee. It too sold out night after night until 1993 when he built a 2,200-seat state-of-the-art show place and brought together the best of both shows to create the ultimate show of shows for Myrtle Beach, the Carolina Opry. The only show to win the coveted Governor's Cup, the state's highest tourism award, and the only show to be voted the state's most outstanding attraction by the South Carolina Department of Parks, Recreation, and Tourism. The Ozarks Mountain Farm Boy, who grew up singing in church, has recorded country and gospel albums, performed in two movies, and oversees the largest live country music enterprise on the East Coast, Gilmore Entertainment. Through the company's 25 years, Calvin has produced and directed many different production shows in several different theaters. The company has expanded into the fields of recording, television production, print media, and artist management. Committed, loyal, enthusiastic, passionate, and talented are just a few of the words you can use to describe Calvin. For Calvin Gilmore, commitment is a way of life. He has been married to Janice for 38 years, and his children, Jeffrey Gilmore and Jordan Watkins, are in business with him. As the kids get better and better at their jobs, Calvin and Janice have more time to spend traveling and enjoying time off. What does the mountain boy from Missouri think of it all? Of course I'm happy, he says, but the best part of it is that I get to be with my family and still sing my songs. That's what I always wanted. The Pioneer Award, huh? Calvin Gilmore, Pioneer. Well, that fits. That seems just right to me. A pioneer, Calvin Gilmore. Yeah, it reminds me of a story about 27 years ago when Calvin and I and another guy named Richard Krieg, who later became the first general manager of the Carolina Opry, were playing music together in a small defunct old building just rehearsing. And Calvin says to us, Guys, this traveling's a little hard on our families. We need to build a theater. We need to have a place where people come, pay, watch us sing, play music. Oh, I thought that was a great idea. And I said, well, wh where are you thinking about doing this? He said, well, when I was in college, I was selling Bibles, and I found the perfect place. I know just where to do it. Now, we were born and raised in the middle of Missouri, so we're just Midwesterners. And Calvin turns and says, I think the perfect place is... Myrtle Beach. Well, I thought about that for a little bit. And then I said, well, where in California is Myrtle Beach? He said, no, no, no. It's in a beautiful place in South Carolina. It's gorgeous. And he said, I'm really going to do it. I'm going to pack my family up and I'm going to go for it. And that's exactly what he did. And Calvin, you are a pioneer, my friend. It's been an amazing ride. Here we sit on our 25th anniversary year. Wow. I say 25 more years. Congratulations to you and Janice and the family, Jordan and Jeff. May we have another 25 years is great. It's been a great ride, my friend. I love you. Calvin Gilmore, Pioneer, that's perfect. And I like perfect. I just wanted to say congratulations, Calvin, on this great honor. You've done so much for our local community. Keep up the good work. See you soon. Bye. This is a great occasion, Calvin Gilmore and the Pioneer Award. There's no one that deserves this award any more than Calvin. Calvin came to Myrtle Beach and became part of our community and really extended our tourist season. He's uh, brought family entertainment at its finest to our area. It's just a privilege uh, to be here and congratulate you well done, Calvin, and keep it up and keep bringing the families to Myrtle Beach. Thank you for all that you've done for our community and our state. Congratulations. Calvin, um, I'm joining with a whole lot of other folks and simply saying thank you for what you've done, the way you've done it, and what you continue to do along the Grand Strand of South Carolina. Uh, I, I think the, the, the Pioneer Award is so appropriate 
given it singles out a, a, an exceptional individual and you fit that bill who's done real work of significance and you've certainly done that. I mean, you think about this notion of pioneering. I mean, literally, you were country when country wasn't cool when it comes to bringing music to the Grand Strand. And it's had a, a remarkable impact, both in the Grand Strand in particular, and frankly, it's rippled across the state economically and on a couple of other planes. And for, for that work and for its impact of significance, indeed, thank you. Godspeed and have a great night. Hey, Calvin. You know, I, I'm just so delighted that you're here being recognized tonight. and. And I want to know how much it means to me to have been able to, to provide uh, family medicine support for you and your family and your wonderful operation for the last 25 to 30 years. Calvin, I remember when you came down from the, the hills of the Ozarks in Missouri in the mid-80s, and I'm reminded of that venue of Run GMC that you have on your program, and you, you fit that picture exactly. I know we had to clean you up, fix your teeth, cut your hair put shoes on you, but next thing you know, you're a resounding success as a pioneer here on the Grand Strand. And, and I, especially, I especially remember we had to spray you down and get all those diseases off of you, but that's okay. We're welcome and glad to have you here in the Grand Strand. Calvin, I wanted you to know how much I think of you and your family and how much you've brought to the, uh, the public health sector of our, our economy and our, our psychological health in the Grand Strand. If I could make you a doctor of public health on an honorary basis, I would do that. Your, your brand of wholesome family entertainment, of love of country and community, and, and the unabashed humor that you bring reinforces the idea that laughter is indeed the best medicine. Uh, and it's made all of us better. We're a better community. The grandstands are a better place because you and your family chose to settle here. Again, I thank you, Calvin, for being here. I'm glad to be part of this recognition, and I'm just so proud to know you and your family and have you as a friend. You take care, Dr. Gilmore. Thank you, Calvin, for sharing your dream with millions. A risk taker, an innovator, you truly are deserving of this year's Myrtle Beach Area Chamber of Commerce Pioneer of the Year Award.